Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I want to talk to you about goal setting. As we approach the end of the year, Everyone develops their New Year's resolutions, their goals for the year. They are going to do this, they're going to do that, they're going to practice, they're going to diet, they're going to take walks, they're going to spend more time with their family. Everybody goes into the new year with these expectations, these ideas of what they're going to do. So we're going to talk today about your goals as a pool player. First, let me ask you this, do you have goals as a pool player? Are there your goals committed to paper? If you don't have your goals committed to paper, you are a long shot in ever achieving your goals. They did a study with Harvard University students and said, who of you have your goals committed to paper? And it was about 5%. And then they looked at these same students three or four years later and found out where were these people on the scale of uh, achievement as far as their career goes and their life and, and uh, their family and things of this nature. Big surprise, the 5% that had written goals had achieved higher levels of achievement and higher levels of success. Everybody went into it with goals, but who went into it with written goals? That is key. So the first rule when setting goals for the new year or setting goals for the month or whenever it's going to be is commit them to paper. Look at this. These go back years. I don't throw these away. So what I do is I take these books and some of you that follow the channel, you've seen these before. You write your goals in this book and then each day, if you're really good at it, you write down what you've done to achieve those goals. Now you're going to have goals outside of just pool but I'm your pool instructor. I can't tell you about goals for life. They should include spending time with your family, your health, and things like that. But we're just talking about pool goals. So what are your pool goals? Maybe you want to be able to execute that six-foot draw shot that you haven't been able to pull off. Maybe you want to be an APA six or seven uh, by the end of the year. Maybe you want to run a rack for the first time. Maybe you never run a nine ball rack. You want to be able to run a rack for the first time. Maybe you gauge some of your performance as far as your drills and things like I, that I've recommended over the last year that you put um, parameters on and that you gauge your growth throughout those. Maybe you want to take lessons for the first time and you've never taken lessons before. Maybe you want to put in two hours a day of practice. That in itself is a goal. So what you need to do is be prepared to write down your goals, speak about your goals in present tense when you write them down. Don't say, I want to be an APA 7. Say, I became an APA 7 through X number of hours of practice each day, reading books, watching videos, and taking individual lessons. So you want to say things like, I have a powerful draw shot, not things like, I don't miss cue when I shoot my draw shot anymore. You want to speak in positive terms when you're writing down your goals and when you're stating, for, stating them for yourself. Now, it's also very important that you put timelines on your goals, short-term, mid-range, and long-term goals. Maybe your long-term goal is to be an APA 7 and play in Vegas in two years. Maybe your short-term goal is to finally run a rack of eight ball. Maybe you never run a rack of eight ball. Or maybe it's just to join the league. Put your goals in order based on short-term, long-term, mid-range, and talk about them in present tense, as I said, as if they already happened. One more thing, and this is the hard part. You should share your goals with someone. Share your goals with someone that is going to keep you accountable. Maybe they keep you accountable because they'll call you out on it. Hey, you told me you were going to be an APA 7 by the end of the year, and you haven't even practiced as far as I can tell. Or maybe it's somebody that is not going to say anything at all, but you're going to consciously know, hey, 
I told my wife I was going to do this, and I'm doing other things that totally lead to uh, me not hitting that goal. Uh, maybe she's not going to say anything about you not becoming an APA 7, but you remember that you told her that you were going to do that. So when you set your goals, make them something that are achievable. Don't say, I want to be a professional player. I want to be chained by the end of the year. Make it something that is achievable, that is legitimately achievable. Share it with other people. State it in real terms. Commit it to paper. You can type it into your phone if you want, but I'm telling you, the act of writing them out and keeping them in a little book where you can journal what you do every day is going to be a lot more powerful. I will leave a link to these books in the description of this video. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I truly believe in these things. You can use it any way you want, whether it is to just put your goals in there or to journal what you do each day to achieve your goals. I know players that write down every time they miss a shot or they do a post-game uh, analysis where they write down everything that happens during that game. Maybe you score your, um, your drills and you put them down in the book, but get some leverage by writing these things down. It will help you in the long run and you'll be able to look back on them and say, what was I doing in 2017 to improve my game? I mean, can you imagine the magic of being able to look back on that six, seven years from now and seeing exactly where you were, what your goals were and what you were doing to achieve them? Have a great day. If you don't subscribe, you're going to hit that button today because you are going to miss something going forward. This is going to be a big year for FX Billiards, a big year for pool, a big year for getting out in the world and getting things done that we haven't been able to do for the last year. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.